Hello third graders and welcome for our final day. We are gonna work on our informational text, our informational report. Next week, you're gonna be writing your own. You're gonna have three full days to write it out, find some research if you need to research, and then on Friday is when you're going to submit the whole thing. So we learned about how to research our topic come up with subtopics to guide our writing, organize our subtopics into paragraphs, adding an introduction and a conclusion, starting our introduction off with an interesting fact, question, and a description of what we're gonna talk about, having topic sentences and concluding sentences for our paragraphs, using transition words in our topic sentences. And it is time to begin writing. So when we are writing, we always have to start with a title. Now, we don't want to just put grizzly bears because that doesn't capture the reader's attention that much. So I want to say something a little bit more interesting using adjectives that we've been practicing this whole week. So maybe I could say the fierce grizzly bear. That would mean, that would really catch my attention and I would really want to read that. Or maybe the aggressive grizzly bear. Or maybe the giant grizzly bear. When you are adding a title, you need to use a descriptive adjective, not something just like big, okay? Those are first grade words. We wanna use third grade words. If you need to look up in the dictionary an interesting adjective to add to your topic, that's what you could do. Today, we are going to use fierce, the fierce grizzly bear. When we are writing our title, you need to make sure that you have a capital letter on every word, unless it is an article in between it like a, the, at, but all of the beginning letters are capitalized in a title. Remember, mints, titles of books, movies, and stories actually. And now we can begin with our introduction. Now we already have our outline for our introduction, so I'm gonna split my screen so we can see both of them. So I can see my information I got for my, for my introduction, and all I have to do is make sure that I indent. So you can do an indent two ways. On your iPad, there is a tab button right above caps, and you can click tab, and that will make five spaces, or you can click the space button five times. Two. Let make sure I get there. One, two, three, four, five. You can click your space button five times or click tab. So that begins our indent. And I'm gonna start off with my fact using the whole sentence. Grizzly bears are the top of their food chain. Now, as I'm writing through this and I'm like, I don't know if I really like how that sentence is written, I can go ahead and change it. This is more of an outline for me to follow. You make sure I fix my spelling along the way. I'll add my second sentence. Make this a little smaller so we can see it better. Go. And I'll add my second sentence from my fact. No other animal hunts them. Do you see how when I got to the second line, the words went 
all the way to the side. You need to make sure that the indent stays so the first line is five spaces before the second line. Now I can add my question. What is unique about grizzly bears? And then I can add my descriptives, which is describing what they are going to read about. Grizzly bears live in a specific habitat, have unique characteristics, and are predators. I have my first introduction complete, and that is my first paragraph. So I can go ahead and check that off. To make a second paragraph, I'm going to click return on my keyboard, return. It'll take me to the next one. And then I can click tab to give me five spaces, or I can click the space bar five times. One, two, three, four, five. And that is how I start my second paragraph. My second paragraph is about habitats. So I need to go to my topic and conclusion outline. And I can use the topic from here. All I have to put is my topic sentence I already came up with. It's just plugging in and I'll have to add one sentence in between using my research. So I'm going to type in my topic sentence. I'm actually going to put another space, two spaces. One, two, three, four, five. First, grizzly bears, and I can see I already made a mistake, so I can fix that now. Grizzly bears live in a specific habitat. All right, now I need to add a sentence in between. So I can go to my research page, and it says that grizzlies prefer open or semi-forested areas on all parts of their range and are most common in alpine or subalpine or on tundras. So I'm just going to use the part in there that I understand the most. And I can say that the bears, these bears live in forests and tundras. And then I can add my conclusion sentence. Finally, grizzly bears only live in a specific habitat. Now I'm ready for my second paragraph. I'm gonna click return twice and then space five times. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm ready for my second topic sentence. My second topic sentence starts with second. These bears live in specific locations in the world. For my second sentence, because remember I need three to five for a paragraph, that's where I'm adding my sentences are in the middle here. I will go back to my brainstorm page. We're talking about their location. So it says that they live in Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Washington, Yellowstone National Park, and Glacier National Park. So I could put these in two sentences. Let's say these states, oops. These states, they live in R, and then I can list the states. Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Washington. Then I can tell them the parks they live in. These bears also live in Yellowstone National Park, 
that's a specific place, so all of them are capitalized, and Glacier National Park. Then I can add my conclusion sentence. Grizzly bears live in certain areas of the world. Grizzly bears live in certain areas of the world. Now, I already wrote your first three paragraphs, and you have three more that you need to write. For your writer's workshop today, I want you to use the evidence we have on the other two pages to finish your writing. Now, on page number 11, or three pages back, you'll see our research page. Then we have our outline for each paragraph, and then our outline for the topic and conclusion sentences. We are not going to add a specific conclusion because I don't think we'll have time for today. And then starting next week, we are going to finish our own informational writing.